What's up YouTube, it's Jake Henry back here again. Today we're gonna to be talking about investing in your mind. What if a child dreamed of becoming something other than what society had intended? What if a child aspired to something greater? Okay, so the first uh, thing I kind of want to talk about is what investing even means. You know, if you think about the word investing or if you think about the, the theme of what investing means, and investing means to, to pay a price now in order to get a future profit, you know, uh, making the sacrifice now, making um, a contribution um, in the present so that in the future or, you know, later on down the road, you can receive some sort of benefit. Now a lot of people, uh, myself included, um, we invest in things um, that are purely just for entertainment. You know, we spend money on video games, on um, movies and cars and, um, you know, activities. And while there's nothing wrong with um, investing in life and um, wanting to be entertained and wanting to enjoy life, I think that there's other aspects of our lives that we should um, kind of put an emphasis or a focus on in order to... Um, invest in those areas and therefore receive the benefit from those areas. So if you've watched this channel for a long time you know that this is a fitness based channel and people that are into fitness you know they, they've already invested um, into that lifestyle you know they're investing in their bodies they're hitting the gym they're training hard they're investing in um, their diet you know they're eating clean um, or they're uh, watching their calories or um, whatever it may be you know they're they're investing they're they're making the sacrifice, they're making, putting forth the effort right now so that, you know, in the future they can either get stronger or get leaner or uh, build muscle or whatever your goals may be. But what I want to talk about today is um, investing in your mind. You know, I want to challenge you to invest in your mind. You know, recently, um, over the past almost a year now, I've really started to take an effort into reading a lot more books. Um, I used to be the person who, you know, I, I read books here and there, you know, I read um, mostly fiction books, mostly, you know, like the Harry Potter series or uh, Lord of the Rings or just different kind of books throughout high school and I wouldn't really um, commit myself to them, you know, I wouldn't spend um, every single day at least reading something, you know, it would be a book here, a few months past, to hear a book there, or and so on and so forth. But um, lately, you know, especially this last, um, like I said, a few couple months, you know, I really want to be um, investing in myself and in my mind, and I'm just getting this thirst for wanting to know more and wanting to learn about different aspects of personal development and different aspects of developing your mind and your mindset. But see, all of those books are along the lines of my goals. You know, my goal is to be um, a good coach. You know, want, I want to be um, an online coach, a fitness coach. I also want to, you know, develop. Um, these mindset theories and to be able to um, help people see that the path to success you know begins with your mind and um, all of the aspects of personal development that go along with it so you know those are the kind of books that I'm reading you know I've read books like The School of Greatness by Lewis House um, you know a book by Les Brown a classic How to Win Friends and Influence Others I mean and I'm not trying to sit here and brag about the books that I've read or you know what but I'm just trying to show you um, that there is value in either you know reading books or going online and reading articles or going to YouTube and searching out um, you know how-to videos or informational videos and and really putting that investment into your mind and you know this is just referencing to investing in whatever your goals may be you know if you want to start an online business if you're wanting to uh, create a website or if you're wanting to get fitter or get in better shape if you're wanting to be a better parent you know any of these goals you know there is a wealth of knowledge out there especially in the time that we live in is 2016 guys I mean the internet is available for everyone to use I mean um, there, there's tons of places to find information and to find books and blogs and uh, different online resources that are just right for the taking and I truly believe that the people who get um, farther along in life or who become more successful are investing in their mind. You know, they're going to conferences, they're going um, to workshops, they're reading books, they're trying to analyze and, and take these lessons that they're getting. And not only are they, you know, researching and receiving this knowledge, but they're also looking at how they can apply it to their life each and every day. And that's what I've tried to. Um, develop over these last few months is really taking the lessons of the books that I have read 
and seeing how can I apply them each and every day to different aspects of my life. And um, that's really started to shape my mindset and really allowed me to um, broaden the horizons in terms of my thinking and my own personal development. And you know, this is just an example of what hard work really is. You know, hard work isn't just, you know, going to the gym or, you know, grinding for your job, you know, it's being able to admit that you don't know it all. It's being able to admit that there is knowledge out there that could benefit you, that you don't already currently possess. And seeking out that knowledge is a way to work hard, you know. It, it takes hard work to sit there and, and knock out 45 minutes to an hour of just reading a book, you know. Some people are saying that that's wasting time, but uh, I truly believe that it can be used to an advantage to you. And you know guys, I'm not trying to preach at you or you know tell you what you should be doing. I'm just trying to share my experiences and share the things that have helped me. And you know, reading and seeking out knowledge has really benefited me. And I've you know learned lessons that I've applied to my life. Um, even just for example, in Lewis's house's Lewis House's book, uh, The School of Greatness, a big chapter is talking about building a winning team and realizing that no man is an island in that. Um, you know, it takes more than one person to help see your own dream realized. And that helping other people see their dreams realized is a way to see your own realized. I mean, that is a, a, uh, a lesson that I'm applying right now, you know. I've got my friends, I've got people helping me um, shoot my videos, helping me edit videos. And, you know, it is really, there are just so many lessons to be learned out there, guys. I, I think that some people are just really lim limiting themselves by only investing in things either entertainment-wise or... Um, just on the surface body level, you know. So I encourage you and challenge you to invest in your mind, to take some time out and see, you know, what you can learn about yourself and what you can learn about the world around you. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, kind of quick, but just want to get this out here. If you enjoyed the video, please just give it a thumbs up. Um, it really helps uh, support the channel and support me. Um, if you want to see the links to my social media down below, um, you can check that out. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that good stuff is uh, down in the description. So if you want to see more, just subscribe to the channel. Uh, I don't know if I said that already, but uh, that's the best way to support the channel. And if you like this video, please just give it a share. Share it to someone who um, you think might benefit from it. So that's all I got for you guys. I thank you. And until next time, let's keep positive and God bless.